but mainly rain for us until overnight tonight. Let's go ahead and time it out with our future tracker. The rain's going to taper off a little bit as we head into evening, more spotty light rain showers. But as we roll into the overnight hours, some colder air comes in, and we are noticing a pretty thin line of freezing, uh, drizzle, freezing rain that is going to be cutting through the Evansville Metro not long after midnight and then transfer over to a little bit of snow. Keep in mind, all this rain that is falling right now is going to be, what's left on the road is going to be freezing over. Then you've got a little glaze, and it's not going to be much, but it's going to be a little glaze of ice. And then on top of that, you're going to have a little bit of snow. And it's not going to be much. It looks like it's going to be less than a half an inch for all of us, at least south of US 50. But I mean, it doesn't take much to make things slick. And I think it is going to be a slick morning commute. By 9 o'clock, the snow's long gone, or at least it's gone. And we'll start to see the clouds breaking up and clearing, slow clearing, as we head into the afternoon from northwest to southeast for our Tuesday. Here's what it looks like rainfall wise. It could be fairly plentiful, especially down to the southeast. And we've already seen that, Muhlenberg County in particular. And then on the snowfall again, less than a half an inch for almost all of us along and south of 64. Again, could be seeing some heftier totals up around Flora. Ice forecast, fortunately, not a whole lot out there as far as any sleet or freezing rain, but it's going to be, we will have a brief period, it looks like, overnight with a little bit of freezing rain.